What's up, good people of Earth? You see, wonderful Earthlings, now that you have clicked this video, first respects and lots of love to yourself. You see, today we shall be spreading good vibes to the whole world. And you wonder how we shall be doing it. Well, it's by reacting together, me and you, to different videos, good vibes videos, all with the intentions of making sure all Earthlings are able to unite. Forgive one another, be honest, and above all, spread love. So wonderful source, kindly watch till the end. Hit the like button and help us in spreading love. Straight out of Africa. I am 311 Hitchman with lots of good vibes. Let's dive in. All right, look, don't even watch this video because it's about to get that crazy, fam. Now, y'all heard about the subtracted time, right? In 2029. Now, this is what's tripping me out, fam, because I got a conspiracy theory that might actually blow your mind. So what if Earth acts on like a time dilation, dog? So because of the rotation of the axis, right? Because it shifted slightly, we're about to lose. They're talking about taking a whole second away from time itself family like and it's not even them doing it they're they're adjusting to nature fam they're adjusting to the nature of things the nature of things is they 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 can't be fully in control of the situation if time dilating is a real thing like so what if earth is almost like a device it's like but see that's weird though see that's oh i'm trying to figure out because some people seeing CERN might have glitched us into a parallel universe. I believe, yeah, it, it's kind of weird how every time these idiots, and they're geniuses, they're geniuses, but every time these idiots fire up the Hydron Collider, we're talking about literally every time it's a Mandela effect, it's something crazy going on in the celestial bodies above us. And then it, it, it's, it's just weird. It's just, plus, they, they're literally the most, well, you know what? It got to be other secret groups. But they're the most known trying to play God, period. And every time they try to play God, weird stuff pops up. People see things that are weird. That, uh, we all experience like energy uh, uh, shifts. Some people experience more energy. Some people experience tiredness. All type of crazy stuff be going on, y'all. Like, like seriously. I mean, if y'all can't feel it now, it's weird because I can. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, but I feel like uh, Earth has to be some type of time. If it's possible for the spinning on the axis, on its axis to shift time itself, then this has to have some, like Earth has to have a connection to time itself in the quantum realm, which would make it, uh, it ha that would make Earth kind of like a machine, which would be crazy. That would be crazy. Because we need technology. We need technology to alter time. We do as people. So if the earth can alter time by itself, then the earth is technology. That's a real creepy uh, way to look at it. I mean, but what else is it, though? What else is it? And what the fuck is time, really? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, these dudes came up with time, and time is clearly relative to earth. I I'm done. I'm out. You cannot deny there's something here, y'all. Look how pink and red that sky is. Look at that. Look at that. This was sent to me by these two guys over here, y'all. This is in Seattle, Washington at 5 o'clock in the morning, y'all. See, that is the same light that was here a few weeks ago in Florida. Only this is a lot more pronounced. This is a lot more pronounced. But look at this shit. The sky is red. Uh, currently 5 o'clock in the morning. Now, we've been seeing this all over the world, y'all. We've been seeing this in Canada, Philadelphia, more in Seattle. The last time was in Seattle, Florida. This has been everywhere. Obviously, like I said, something big is here because we see all these changes in the sky, on the ground, in the water, in the animals, and even in people. There's a lot of things happening with people. People are feeling all types of way because these are huge electromagnetic entities and they are pulling and pushing on our energies, y'all. So yes, it's going to affect us. These are bigger than Earth. This thing might be the very thing that was causing the sky to go purple in Seattle. You can guys can see how it's like off purple. 
it looks red in the daytime but at nighttime think about it it would kind of look purple especially if it has a glow to it so yeah what do you guys think let me know y'all this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only i am only raising awareness to interesting situations during this interesting times let me know what you guys think about this video like comment and share for more videos like this thank you for tuning to my frequency let's get this shift y'all peace in Yo oh, man, what do you think is uh, going on? Or is some crazy filters? Oh, and then there's this good vibes guy here. Yo oh, man, what's up with him? Huh? Hey, it's like he has applied something on his face. Hmm, or what's up? You see? Oh, what is this guy here trying to illustrate? What? How is this possible? Oh, you see he has already left and his shadow is there. What is this stuff, man? That's crazy. Good people of us. How is he able to do that? Eh? The this deer is stuck in hammock. Uh. Oh man, you see, uh, this is so sad. Oh, but this good vibes guy here came to help this deer. Ah, this is nice, man. Oh, this is um, a guy full of love and good vibes. Oh, he came to the rescue of this wonderful deer and it's just nice, you see? Wow, this is interesting. Oh. This is some guy that understands helping one another and uh, just care. Full of good vibes, you see? Wonderful utterings from where you are. Oh, this is some interesting lesson that these two good vibes guy are teaching us, you see? Because they decided to free this day and let it go. Just full of good vibes. And uh, release it back to its natural home, you see? And this animal was quite happy. And he's even uh, jumping, jumping around because of how nice it felt, you see? The universe will definitely reward those guys, you see? Every good deeds, they are never lost. And they'll come your way soon, you see? Y'all can see that, food. right? What the hell is that, y'all? It looks like a rainbow, but it is like bright orange, right? This right here is in Chicago, Illinois. Remember, they just turned on Mini Cern, y'all. Check this out. Y'all gonna tell me something ain't going on with the sky in Illinois? I guess that is what. Look at that. That's supposed to be the sun, y'all. Is that supposed to be the sun? He excited. There's my car. What is this? That's a bro. Why does it look like a planet, y'all? There's another one right here. This appointment right here, right in front of it. It's a double rainbow, bro. That's. Bro, There's two rainbows, yeah. ain't no way, bro. That's exactly what was in front of my house, man. The energy felt intense. When I tell you the energy felt intense, look how red it is over there, y'all. And the sun was extremely red. Look at that. This is today in Chicago. Look at that. Look at the sun, bro. Look how it looks. It looks like it's on fire. Already starting off with a bang after the eclipse. Y'all see that, right? When it was in front of my house, I felt that energy. The energy was intense. Ain't no way that's just like a rainbow. And then for it to be a different color like that, hmm. Lately, we have been seeing holographic planet-looking things in the sky, and that right there was holographic. So it makes you wonder what really are these huge new rainbows that we've never seen before. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I'm only raising awareness to interesting situations during this interesting time. Like, follow, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning in my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace in. Oh man, that's uh, quite disturbing. We had stuff going on. All of those on states of emergency people. declarations and warnings seem to overhype this situation. The thing is, there's actually a reason those in power have hyped up this total solar eclipse. And I am going to tell you exactly why. April 8th, 2024 is not only the day of the total solar eclipse, but it was the same day as the birth of Thelema, the religion created by the infamous occultist Aleister Crowley. Crowley wrote his book of the law and officially started the Lima back on April 8, 1904, exactly 120 years ago. Back in the year 1904, when Aleister Crowley was visiting Egypt with his new wife to enjoy their honeymoon, they set up a lodge and began to perform ancient Egyptian invoking rituals. One day while Crowley was performing these rituals, he claimed that his wife became possessed by one of these spirits he was trying to invoke. He claims that on March 18th, she told him that she was possessed by they, who she explained were the god Horus, and on the 20th of March, she told him that the equinox of the god has come. She then led Crowley to a museum to the steel mortuary known as the Steel of Anak, and this led Crowley to experience a supernatural experience on April 8th. 
where he claimed that he was visited by a spirit called Awis, who was the messenger of Horus. Crowley claims that Awis told him he was chosen to be the prophet of Horus, and that he was to bring in the new Aeon called the Aeon of Horus. Over the course of three days, Awis then gave instructions to bring in this new world, and Crowley wrote it all down, telling Crowley that do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law, and the creo of the new age. Crowley later published what Awis told him, calling it the book of the law. He then used the teachings of the book of the law to create his own religion called Thelema. And in Thelema, still to this very day, April 8th is seen as a sacred day, as the birth of Thelema. Now, 120 years later, the same day that is celebrated by Thelemites as the birthday of Thelema, just so happens to fall on the same day the total solar eclipse is going to happen. This is one strange coincidence, but it explains why they made this eclipse seem so special. Remember how I explained some ancient pagan civilizations used to see the eclipse as a sign of the world going through a rebirth? Well, this is the exact same way occultists see the eclipse as, a symbol of rebirth. This is the reason they have hyped up this eclipse, they are using it to stamp the fulfillment of Crowley's Age of Horus prophecy. For example, if we look at David Bowie who was a follower of Crowley and actually wrote many songs dedicated to him, he spoke about this very day that we are waiting for on April 8th. This video is all about this very thing. In his music video Black Star which he starts with a total solar eclipse, we can see Bowie's body floating up to the total solar eclipse after the Scarlet Woman takes his teachings back to the new world which is represented by a skull. What's interesting about this scene is the fact that NASA announced a few days ago that they were launching three rockets at the solar eclipse on April 8th in an operation they called APEP. The operation is actually named after the god Apep, which just so happens to be the serpent deity from ancient Egyptian mythology, which is the nemesis of the sun deity Ra. NASA claims they are launching these rockets to investigate how that drop in sunlight and temperature affects Earth's upper atmosphere. While this is what they're claiming, I believe there's an occult purpose much more sinister than what they claim. This is all connected to this very scene, where they show Bowie's body floating to the solar eclipse. Bowie's body actually represents Crowley's body, as he is their demonic prophet, and they're claiming his prophecy has been fulfilled. They are sending these rockets as a representation of Crowley. The reason they're sending exactly three rockets is to represent the birth of Thelema, as Crowley wrote the Book of the Law in three days, and in Masonry, they believe in the three lesser and greater lights of Masonry, which is all a mockery of God's holy trinity. This is all being done symbolically for the 120th birthday of Thelema. It is at all no coincidence that NASA is choosing April 8th to launch these rockets. They are all showing us exactly what's going on. They are celebrating the 120th year of Thelema. They perform a Gnostic Mass in this video as well, a ritual done in Crowley's religion of Thelema. This very scene shows us that they were alluding to this very day. In these last songs by Bowie, he was explaining how he was sad because he knew he wasn't going to be able to see the day come. The day that he was waiting for was this very day. This is what he is referring to because many occultists have been waiting for this day for decades. They have been showing us this through their symbolism. There's another song and music video that alludes to the April 8th solar eclipse called Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden which is about the total solar eclipse and the new world order. The song not only has a music video full of strange end times imagery but also lyrics that are talking about them waiting for this day to come. In the song's chorus, they repeat, Black Hole Sun, won't you come and wash away the rain? Black Hole Sun, won't you come, won't you come? Black hole sun won't you come? A black hole sun is a solar eclipse as the sun turns black when the moon is in front of it, causing it to look like a black hole. This is exactly what they were talking about. They were talking about the day the total solar eclipse fell on Thelema's birthday. The video has even more imagery that proves they were talking about April 8th. The video starts by showing the band wearing a skull shirt while holding their guitars, while on the other side they show a group of religious people holding up signs declaring the end is near. This part of the video is supposed to represent the two sides of the spiritual battle. Those who are preaching Thelema and Crowley's words that represents the devil's teachings, while the religious people represent those pushing the Bible, which are God's words. This also symbolizes when they expect this black hole sun, they're expecting the end. Not the end of the world, but the end of the old order of life and the marking of the beginning of the age of Horus. The video then continues with the sinner sinning as shown by the fish. The fish is seen as a Christian symbol that represents Jesus, the fisher of men. The woman with the knife who's seen about to kill the fish represents the death of the old religious ways, the death of the worship of Christianity. Right after this scene is shown, the total solar eclipse is seen and everyone stops and stares at it in amazement. In another scene, they show the people's faces start turning demonic after the eclipse passes. As the video continues, things start getting more and more demonic and we start to see souls being sucked up to the total solar eclipse, just like it was shown in the Black Star video. There's even a scene where they show a woman dressed in red with a reptile tongue representing the Scarlet Woman. As the video progresses, it becomes obvious what's happening in the video is the apocalypse, with all the people being sucked up into the black hole sun 
or the total solar eclipse. This is how the video ends. This video is representing the death and rebirth, the start of the new age of Horus. They showed us all of God's people disappear, while all of those who chose to worship themselves dealt with the wrath of God. Now, I'm not saying these occults has made this total solar eclipse or made it happen in any way. I'm saying that they waited for this day to happen to fulfill their prophecies and it came. These occultists don't know when the end will come, but they want to mark it symbolically using the total solar eclipse, the end of the old age of life and the start of the age of Horus. This is why they have been putting out all of this end time apocalypse imagery to mark this day. This is the day they're making the start of the age of Horus. Now, what all that means is a story for another video. Remember, I'm not saying anything is going to happen on April 8th, nor am I fear mongering. I'm just pointing out the facts and all the coincidences that point to that day. Everything I said you can verify yourself. Crowley created the Lima on April 8th. The authorities did declare a state of emergency and the total solar eclipse will pass by eight cities named Nineveh. Now, what all this tells me is that I don't know what is coming, but I know that praying to the Almighty God will keep me safe and He would guide me in these times of uncertainty. Look at this, it's almost... This guy froze. Literally. What the? F yeah, he is literally there. It's not the camera that's frozen, it's him. There he is. This dude is still. Oh my god, what does the appearance of crows in such abundance indicate? Please leave your comments, man. Oh, you see that there have been a lot of birds in the sky and you might wonder what's going on. You see, even from this side of the world, you have been seeing lots of birds there in the sky. It's like there is some crazy activity going on in the birds. Or is it time for migration or something like that? Oh, good people of Earth. These are definitely the interesting times to be alive. My hand. Magnet is magnetic. Metal. Man höre das Geräusch. Wie geht das? Guck genau hin. Wie geht das? Wie habe ich das gemacht? Jetzt bin ich mal auf eure Fragen gespannt. Aluminium. Ha! How is that guy able to do that? Look at this. Oh, they know some... What is that stuff? They are swimming in the water. Oh, I just did this guy's things, those are dinosaurs. This is crazy, man. Look at this. This was how the total solar eclipse from space looks like. How? The moon's shadow on the Earth's surface looks like that. That's crazy, man. Oh, you mean the moon is that big? Oh, this is some quite an interesting illustration here. Huh. What did you went down, good people of Earth? Hey, video tape that shit. That's a fucking video. Aliens. It's an orb. I got an orb on video right now. A fucking what? orb. What the fuck is Unedited. It? Oh my god. What the oh fuck? My god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's on the you surface the of the water. Yeah. It's on the surface of the water. Oh, it's, 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 it's just skimming across the water right now. It's not above the water. It's on. Oh! Oh my god, what do you think is that stuff, eh? Some UFO or what? Hmm. Well, this good vibes guy here, probably someone's father or grandfather or uncle brother, was out there in the water with his boat, you see? Just having some good time there, uh, sailing along, you see? And uh, who knows what he came across. Let's see. Can't you watch carefully? Hmm. Everything was okay with this good vibes guys here, yeah, swimming. And the other one who was probably recording. Hmm. And then this started happening here. Look at this. Oh, some water waves started coming towards them. 
Oh, this is crazy, man. This is definitely insane. What's going on? Oh, it's like the water today decided to give this guy some lift. Yeah. It's like it even understood that uh, this guys had been sailing for quite some time here, you see? But it's like they had got a tire. But now the water decided to do stuff according to their way and give them a little push. Oh, this is good vibes, man. Seems like Mother Earth decided to give those guys some ride, you see? Look at this man. This guy got a little too drunk and thought for a minute that the tower of the Americans was uh, some UFO. Huh. Oh my god, this he, he must have been scared for some time there. You see, good people of Earth. Please, uh, there's no need for using drugs, you see? If you just generate good vibes and love, you can always feel nice, you see? Oh, this is crazy, man. He gives people, you mean you have tall buildings that look like that? Hey, you know, that is insane. You, know tape measure? you can use a tape measure to see how old you are. I'm going to show you how. What you're going to do, you're going to get your tape measure and you're going to bend it over just like this. And what you're going to do, since it's year 2024, you're going to, on your inches, you're going to go all the way to 224 inches. Just like this. 224 inches right here. And you're going to line the other end of the tape measure right here at 224. And you're going to go all the way down to the year you were born. So I was born in 1990. So I'm going to go to 190 and look straight across. And that tells me how old I am. 34. If you were born in year 2000... Look straight across from 200. You're going to be 24 this year or you already are 24. And any any way you go, say you were born in 1980, you go straight across from 180 and it shows that you're 44 or going to be 44 this year. That's something a lot of people don't know. So if you stick with following me, I'm going to teach you all the good stuff, how to make money and all the tips and tricks. Don't forget to upcharge. Oh man, did you guys know that trick? It's Every, when we talk man. about interdimensional beings, what are we talking about? We're talking about a race of beings, hundreds of millions of years ahead of us, that have already been able to master how to change their form. They are allowed to switch their atoms and photons around to take almost any form they want and travel through time and space. It can go from a light body to a 3D body. It can change its frequency at will to go to another dimension. It can phase in, phase out, bleed in, bleed out of multiple dimensions. That makes it an interdimensional being. At any time? At any time by its own will. Oh, well, quite interesting. Scary little footage is found. Look at this. What's going on? Oh my god. Yo. It's like there was a hole on the road there and water started coming from, from the hole. What's up, man? Oh, looks like there was some problem with the drainage. Or what's going down, good people over? You see? Oh, and uh, really talking about what's going down. The clouds decided today to. Just come down. What is this? Oh, this is water. Water coming from where? This is crazy, man. Oh my god. This is insane. What's going on, good people of Earth? You see, now it's like uh, this world and Mother Earth has started doing creepy things that you all need to understand. Maybe this is a sign for something, man. Yo, looks like the ground there in the water has decided to rise up and get a taste of what it feels like to breathe the fresh air. You see? Oh, oh my god. And this good vibes guy had gone out there to look at that and the water started coming to us them. Maybe just to hug them, you see? Oh my god. Oh, imagine running into this majestic creature out there in the world. Oh, and then you come across it and you wonder, oh my god. It's like... The monkeys today decided to put on a coat. A golden coat. Hmm. Oh, that creature looks like good vibes. Eh? Aparece Little sirena key. en el lago Ness. Monstruo, no sé si hay sirena, sí. Oh my God.
Hmm, what type of fish is that? Eh? Oh, strange is going on. So no. Oh, what is going on? Oh, it's like some good vibes guy from some place here. So a giant or some creature there that looks like a giant. Because from a distance it looks pretty big, uh, more than normal humans, you see? And it's crazy, man. Do you think this giant really exists or it's just stories? What kind of a fear should a Christian have? I think a Christian should have a healthy respect for sin. Knowing that it can entangle and destroy your life. And that it costs Jesus his life to set you free from it. So having a healthy fear of sin is like having a healthy fear of a cobra. It protects you. Wow, man. That's uh, interesting. Good vibes, man. Wonderful humans. Let's always spread down. Until he showed this video from Yakutia. Flying over the mountains of Yakutia, he saw a strange stripe. But looking closer, he was shocked by an endlessly long fence. What's more mysterious is that the same wall hides at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Not long ago, you could see this wall on Google Maps, but today, map makers erased all mentions and photos of this fence. Divers say there are strong damages at the base in some places, similar to explosions, and the height is uneven, decreasing in many areas. You may say that Google already announced that it was a glitch on map searches. Okay, then how can we explain the video from the mountains? And why are we still finding megaliths and huge cities underwater that nobody can explain? More facts I shared on the Telegram channel. Check the link in the profile description. Oh man, crazy stuff. This guy was watching Lion King with three lions. Oh my god. Ah, this is interesting. You mean these good vibes guys uh, from some place here have lions in their house? Oh, this is nice, man. Oh, good vibes uh, are things. This is incredible. From where you come from? Are the people allowed to have lions as pets? Or other animals like even elephants, uh, buffaloes, giraffes, you see? From this side of the world, it's normal and I'm quite surprised um, other people from different parts of the world have even decided to buy a screen for their lions. Oh, this is good vibes, man. Oh, these animals can now watch TV in peace and select the, a channel or a program of their liking, you see? And today they decided to watch their fellow lions in cartoon form. Oh, and it's good vibes, man, you see? The Lion King, this is incredible. Oh, they really look wonderful, man. Of good people over, you see? To bolt the back wheel and turn the front wheel slowly at first until it engages about 20 turns if the spring was completely unwound. While you're winding, you watch the spring, which is located behind the cog, for a red piece of tape. That's the warning that it's time to stop. You let go of the front wheel and the back wheel, and it starts by itself. How? Oh. oh, that's going to be interesting, man. This is going to be a complete breakdown of how demons work, how they attack. <laughs> Before we get started, understand that I already made a 10 minute video yesterday that I tried to upload over 20 times. My TikTok app kept crashing and then it said I didn't have any storage on my phone. I deleted six or seven gigabytes of storage and TikTok automatically took that and threw whatever kind of data God knows what on my phone. So I literally couldn't even open the draft. The spiritual war is real and the demons are infested in the internet. Keep in mind, this never happens unless I talk about the spiritual war and how to fight demons. So let's get started. This is how demons work. They usually start when you're a small child, especially if you have great potential and a good heart. They will enter your dreams and create night terrors. This is meant to break your spirit and break your bioelectric field open by messing with your mind and your heart. Many people who are spiritually gifted probably recall endless nightmares, seeing a weird creature at the end of your bed, and eventually being really kind of messed up in the head and developing anxiety, OCD, and many autistic symptoms. 
this was actually a spiritual attack. The reason they focused on you is because you had a very bright light and a good heart and you had the potential to go to war with them once you became an adult and gazed the wisdom on how to fight the spiritual war. This is what happened next. You started to get a strange voice in your head. It wasn't like you were hearing in your ears, but it was like this subtle voice trying to get you to do bad things trying to get you to think intrusive and compulsive thoughts, things that scared you, things that made you feel uncomfortable or guilty. They lead you toward crime, violence, drug abuse, distrust and paranoia. This is all again made to break your spirit. When your mind and your heart feels bad, your bioelectric field weakens. Your bioelectric field is like your immunity, okay? It's like your white blood cells, but for your spirit. It creates an it creates an actual bubble of protection. That's why people are constantly saying, use the violet flame, use the golden egg. This is because subconsciously they're connecting with the wisdom of your auric or bioelectric field. So you imagine that egg shape or that flame because the bioelectric field is electromagnetic energy that is much like a flame, just not one that's in the visible light spectrum. This is the same as Ephesians 6, the armor of God. You're putting on a spiritual protection on the side of your body. When you imagine those thoughts go out as frequencies and they actually affect space time all around you at the quantum level. This actually creates energetic barriers and walls from those energetic parasites and predators. So what will happen if they can't get to you? If you're able to continually reinforce your bioelectric field, control the thoughts in your mind, and overcome your fear so that they can't mess with your emotions or your mind. Well, then they'll use other people that are weaker to attack you. This makes it more difficult because you're not dealing with whatever this unseen thing is. You're dealing in the material real world. And so you're going to automatically assume that these people are physically doing this of their own decisions, which is really going to whack out your brain because you're a human animal which wants human connection. And so if a bunch of your human connection, connections at work, family, uh, loved ones, etc., are all terrible. They all kind of flip the script on you and look like they're losing their mind and, and incessantly in t attack you and try to make you feel bad. You start to question humanity in general and lose faith in humanity, which again brings down your bioelectric field. They're trying to break it down so they can come and attack you. They have two objectives to either possess you, and if you deny the possession, means you don't do what they tell you to do, you don't engage in evil, they oppress you which means they're constantly trying to attack your bioelectric field. They will enter in at the base of the skull, near the brain stem and where the spine meets the skull, and they will go through your body and create these electrical static signals. This is just the start because when I did the 10 minute video, it wouldn't upload, so I'm gonna at least try to make it smaller and see if that helps because every time I try to- Yo, wonderful creatures. You see, that's quite interesting, man, what that uh, wonderful guy was saying about uh, people being born uh, when they have spiritual gifts or something like that. You see, myself, I believe every human is special and unique in their own ways, you see? And yourself, my friend, you are very unique and special in your own ways. Maybe some of you have already understood their specialties. You can leave some comments there. Tell us in which area are you blessed or what are your gifts, you see? That way we can help one another and grow and uh, become more great, you see? If we all love one another with our differences and uh, just good vibes, we can do incredible stuff on this one, you see? Thanks for watching up to this far, wonderful source. You see, you're all loved, respected, and uh, above all, I wish you luck, good vibes, health, just generally, I wish you nice times, you see? And uh, about uh, our previous episode yesterday, you see, we said we should say the name of our friend here, and now his name is uh, Kasungumo. Does that name uh, ring a bell anything? Kasungumo. For that that uh, may not know how it is written, it is a K at the beginning, followed by an A, A for avocado, S, then U, then an N, a G, a U, and M, then finally an O. You see, Kasungumo, good vibes are here. here. Uh, you see, if you just call him Kasungumo, he feels nice and he knows his time for food, man. You see, good vibes to you guys. From wherever you're watching from, do you have a pet? Tell us uh, their name too. You see, we'd like to know their names. Like, uh, Josie had once told us that they have a cat there, 
called Riri and it's good vibes, you see? Much love to everybody, man. Till next time, peace and love be with you. Good vibes all the way, man. Bye-bye.